Mandel, I'm just gonna call you Mandy from now on if that's okay. Today, oh, today we are going to sew just a collar. Cool? Enough stalling, I know. We'll talk again. Let's, let's get to it. I have the collar band already. So the only thing I have left to make pattern wise is the thingies that flap down. I don't know what those are called. That's called the collar. Just the collar. Show me a nice little curve. I'd watched a few tutorials last night. And then again, slightly curve that. I took the best from each, guesstimated the rest, and it didn't seem like rocket science. Cut it out, was ready to move on. This is what you call interfacing. It's the material you put inside a collar that gives it that nice stiffness so it stands up real straight. With the rest of the shirt, I'm going to just keep it super simple. I'm only going to do a little bit of the shirt portion so I have something to attach it to. But enough yammering. I went ahead, I cut out all the other little necessary bits and bobs I needed to sew, and then I was ready to move on. But first... I haven't forgot about my shakes. I realize how crucial they are to the storyline of these sewing videos. So here we are, once again. That is the sticky side. I ironed down the interfacing for the collar and went ahead and pressed the placket too. I've come to learn that taking the time to do a bit of pressing can make the sewing go a lot easier. So first I'm sewing on this, this placket bit here. Give that the old trim. Next up, I am stitching together the two, uh, the front and the back for what makes up the shoulder, if this were a full shirt. That's front of a button up. This is the part where I stop pretending like I know what I'm doing and then refer to the tutorial. I was following the expert tutelage of Appearance Design Studio. I was prepping one half of the collar band. Oh geez, come on, why is that not? Urgh. There were some early struggles, but nay, I refused to be defeated, undid it, fixed it up, and moved on to the next step. Um, what am I supposed to do next? Trim it, I believe, right? Okay, so that's the bottom band piece done enough for now. Now we're moving back over to the top piece that folds over. Go ahead and trim that out. And I should uh, probably pin that on because that's a smart thing to do so it don't move on me. The top of the collar was really starting to take shape. I was in the final stages. And then apparently the trick here is to take the old scissor and then go ahead and just press that out. From here, I want to top stitch it down. All right, and then apparently, um, oh, and I'm supposed to go around this way too, okay. Making progress, so it was time to connect the collar band to the collar. This is half of the band. This is the collar part. Make sure that that curves. Uh, kind of went a little janky there, so let's uh, circle back and fix that up. I didn't get angry. I'm growing as a person. Make sure I have enough on either side. We'll use a nice big piece. I was attaching the final piece of fabric for the band. Sewing such tight curves is tricky business I'm learning. Trim that, do the other side. Once again, we're circling. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic there. Anyways, finished it up, 
trimmed it out, turned it right way round, right way round, and pressed it down. That looks like a collar, no? Kind of does, eh? Now the scary part, where I walk it out to make sure that it's actually the right length. Dear sweet Lord baby Jesus, please be. Oh yeah, there we go. I do, yeah, okay. It'll work. It'll work. It's the right size. It'll work. All that was left was to attach the full collar to the body. Now the other way. Okay, that thing gets tucked inwards. Little bit off on the edge there, little far over. But I'm not gonna yell at myself for it because all things considered, it's decent. Like I said earlier, I'm growing. I'm growing as a person. The final seam to close it all up. All bunches up, come on, come on. Come on. How does the saying go? Come on, let's go. The last mile's the hardest. Yeah. And then the final curve down. Curve, it's not a curve. This is the final. Come on. Come on. I was definitely challenged in that last quote mile but I managed to hold it together and the collar was complete. Okay, cool. Uh, trim off all these little threads and then uh, let's try it. Try it on. Mandy, I gotta say, I am uh, I'm pleased with how it came out. It, uh, you know what, it actually fits really nicely. I was looking at it in the mirror. It's pretty decent in terms of the way it looks, you know? We. Oh, come on, Manny. Why are you sulking looking the other way? Just because Mandy's getting all the attention today. We're all a family here, buddy. Okay? Anyways, thank you. Glad you think it looks good. Manny. You got a bit of only child syndrome, huh? All right, enough tomfoolery. Let's get serious here for a moment. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with what I did. Chuffed, really. There are still little things I have to work on. Like for example, the points of the collar are still a bit too round. Some of my seams are still quite jagged. There was too much overhang on the collar band on one side. And overall, my stitches are just, I gotta learn how to sew a bit straighter. I am pleased with my work today though. Yeah, yeah, I think I did all right.